Hi everyone. Good morning. Marisa Hongkai here. So yesterday, Mihoyo posted a new info on Post Hongkai Odyssey. I'm just gonna check it out. I thought you guys wanna see it with me. So let's go. Howdy Captains, I hope you're up and fine. In the next few days, iChild will be posting new infos on Post Hongkai Odyssey. But before that, let's have a recap of Post Hongkai Odyssey. So here's a quick overview. Post Honkai Odyssey is a new open world mode that will be launched in version 3.8, which is the next version. Should be up on uh, April April 2 for C and Global. It has new plots, maps, and playable characters beyond the main story. In addition, the captain can also experience new high dimensional battles and joint QTE in the air. So I'm not sure what high dimensional means. Yep, probably just uh, aerial, be aerial battle. <clears throat> so there will be multiple versions of Post Honkai Odyssey. So right now we have May. Maybe next version we'll have Kiana in it. And the storyline and some gameplay will gradually be unlocked. During the debut of Odyssey, there will also be event missions Complete these missions to earn 4 star weapons, Honkai chart, focus supply cards, crystals, uh, they're good. So here's a link to go to the previous post, which has some info you already knew or something. <clears throat> so here's the gameplay footage. Here we have Mei fighting an enemy that looks like Project Bunny with claws. <laughs> it, it looks cool. And here's Carol. She, is, she used Fist to fight like Fuhua. Uh, and lastly, we have male character. So male character use great sword like Himeko. So basically, we're we're replacing Himeko because she's dead. Everyone knows that. And honestly, all of this look so cool and refreshing. I'm kind of bored with Honkai right now because all the contests are kind of repetitive. And these are these are very refreshing for me. So next we have aerial combat. Here we have May triggering QTE for Carol. And next we have Carol Q trigger the QTE of male character. And finally we have Carol triggering QTE for May. Uh, and this is a enemy with a claw. Yeah, I think these are all new enemies we haven't seen before. We have seen the squid, right? Where's the squid? I don't think there's the squid in here. And ah, here, new bosses. And uh, this one reminds me of near Automata boss, the one, the bright boss. And yeah, look at all these slashes. There's so many of them. And here we have a vulture bosses, vulture boss. And the vulture boss fires like a bullet hell. Is this a Toho, a Neo Automata. <clears throat> Next we have plot. Similar to the existing open world, Post Honkai Odyssey will also have main story mission, side mission, and adventure task. In the main story, you are a part of special attack squad exploring the shocking secret hidden in Saint Fontaine in the city of Rebirth. Eight years after Honkai Impact. So this place takes this game takes eight place after Honkai Impact. Oh, I'm sorry, eight years after Honkai Impact. So, uh, who are the enemies actually? If you see here, it's a red, red Honkai thingy. If it's not Honkai, then <laughs> then what is it? It's probably World Serpent, or some enemies we don't know yet. So uh, yeah, here's the team. So we have May here, Carol, and this new little boy that we don't know who it is, but it has the it has the same color as May. So could it be May's May's child? May and May and Kiana has a child. And investigation level. So this is like the uh, yeah, uh, open world EXP for this open world. So collect investigation level, blah blah blah. After completing main story missions or adventure tasks, you get this EXP. 
to upgrade your level so when you upgrade your level increase your level you will get you will unlock new characters and new plots so this one is Mei Mei is a mecha type in this mode and Carol is a psychic type so I assume the male character is gonna be bio type at the same time as you upgrade investigation level and progress in the main story you can also unlock more ways to play adventure tasks and explore more areas of the map uh, the map looks big and there's two parts of them it's a big map and there are two parts oh i <laughs> i hope this is actually good mode because you know me how you put out so many modes but they are all almost almost identical with each other uh, finally of course you can get level rewards blah 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 you get upgrade mats crystal asteroids and this again four star weapons honkai shard focus supply cards so that's all for today tomorrow i chan will talk about character growth slash skills in post honkai odyssey so tomorrow is supposed to be today so hopefully i'll be awake today for this news because i miss i miss this news because i was asleep yesterday when i woke up i was like <laughs> whoa so that's it everyone thank you for watching this is my first time actually talking on this talking in a video so yeah in the next few days i'll be uploading some juicy 3.8 stuff so like subscribe hit the bell and see you again in the next video